Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at Optifabric, which is a mod for Minecraft Java Edition. This is a fabric based mod on Minecraft version 1.18.2 and basically Optifabric for version 1.18.2 now allows us to use Optifine with fabric. We had to wait a long time for this but finally we are able to use Optifabric mod on version 1.18.2. As you guys can see on the top left corner there of my screen, I am using the fabric loader for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. And if I go into my mod section over here in the game menu, you can see that I do have Optifabric installed as well. It's not going to show you Optifine on this section. However, if I go into my options, click on video settings, and then now we can see that this is the Optifine layout that we are used to. At the bottom left there, you can also see it says Optifine HD H7 Pre 3 Ultra. This is the preview version of Optifine, and I am going to leave a link in the description, which is basically going to show you guys which version to download of Optifine, because not all of the versions of Optifine are going to work with Optifabric so do make sure you are using the correct version of Optifine when you do download Optifine for Optifabric especially on version 1.18.2. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get and how to download and install Optifine and Optifabric for the fabric mod loader on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. As you guys can see I do have some shaders enabled if I go into my options again click on video settings and go into the shaders menu this time you can see that I do have the Kappa shaders version 4.2 enabled and the reason I've gone for these shaders is because these shaders don't actually work properly with iris shaders they work really well with Optifine which is why I'm using them right now to show you guys so as you guys can see this is what Kappa shaders look like it's really nice I do like these shaders and if you were to combine these with the Patrick's 32 resource pack then you would have an amazing experience so as you guys can see I do have shaders installed I also have a couple of mods installed as you guys can notice there I do have a zero's minimap installed on the top left corner there on my screen and if I press E on my keyboard you can see that I do have the REI mod installed as well which is a really nice recipe based mod on the fabric mod loader on version 1.18.2 so clearly we are able to use Optifabric with additional mods as well if we go into the options and click on video settings again there are some other settings in Optifine which you guys should look into one of them being the performance section so as you guys can see we can actually go into the performance settings here and you can actually go ahead and turn some of these settings on so if you guys are getting lower performance in your Minecraft Java game especially on version 1.18.2 then do check out the performance settings section over here. I have done a video on Optifine and the performance based settings and the best settings to use with Optifine on version 1.18.2. I will leave a link in the description for those videos as well so do make sure you guys check those videos out. We can actually go ahead and enable a FPS counter so as you guys can see it says show FPS over here. We can also disable some of the GL errors that we might be getting and change the auto save time limit as well which is a really nice feature from Optifine. I do like this feature because if you actually increase the auto save time limit then we might not have that many lags especially when it's trying to auto save and you are crossing a few chunks for example so let's go back into the game so as you guys can see we do actually have the fps counter there let me just quickly move the minimap to a different position i'm going to move it to the top right corner so you guys can see the fps counter over there so as you guys can see at the moment it is showing me as having 60 fps let me actually go ahead and disable v-sync over here and give myself a max frame rate limit so as you guys can see now it is showing 73 fps on the top left corner there of my screen so it's a really cool feature in optifine so if you do install Optifine, not only can you use shaders, it has performance options and you can actually view your FPS as well. So definitely it is worth checking out Optifabric on the Fabric Mod Loader. If you guys have been having issues with Sodium on the Fabric Mod Loader where Sodium is not giving you that much of a good performance that you were hoping for, then I would recommend you guys today check out Optifabric and get Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. If you do forget to install Optifine when you do get Optifabric, then it will show up with a message saying that you do need Optifine in the mods folder. So all you need to do is go to the Optifine website, download the latest version of Optifine and then put that in the mods folder alongside Optifabric and everything should be working as normal. To make things easier, I would recommend you guys use the CurseForge client. So as you guys can see, I do have the CurseForge client showing at the moment. If I click on create custom profile, I can then give this profile a name and I can go and create a fabric game type as you guys can see over here. And this is version 1.18.2, I can click on create. And now if I go into this profile, I can start adding new mods and let's search for Optifabric. So I'm gonna start typing in Opti in the search box here and it should come up with Optifabric. So as you guys can see, it says Optifabric, a mod that allows running Optifine on fabric. 
quick so let's click on install you can also go ahead and download other mods on here it's a one click installation which is why I always recommend you guys get the CurseForge client all you need to do is go to the CurseForge website and click on the download link and install it and once you have configured everything you should see a screen that looks something like this and you can actually go ahead and install your mods I have also done a full guide video on using the CurseForge client so do make sure you guys check that one out again that will be a link in the description where you guys can view that and install it all right let's go ahead and click on install for mod menu once you have installed mod menu and a couple of extra mods on here that you want to try out then it should look something like this so this is a profile which I created earlier and as you guys can see I've got Octofabric I've got the roughly enough items mod here and Zero's minimap and Zero's world map as well it won't show you the Optifine mod on this list but it will be included in the mods folder which is how you will know when you go into the video settings once you jump back into your game you can just click on options click on video settings and your screen should look something like this and if you are seeing a shaders button here and you are seeing Optifine on the bottom left corner of the screen that it means everything has worked perfectly fine and you should be able to now use Optifabric and Optifine on Fabric for version 1.18.2. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about how to download and how to get and how to install Optifabric and how to download, install and get Optifine on Fabric for version 1.18.2, then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. If you guys have any issues with the version numbers of Optifine where it's not working properly with Optifabric, then again, leave a comment in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.